Hello everybody. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video, uh, and we I've done a lot of things off camera. We've been kind of busy out here uh, working on things. So instead of a normal episode where I'm doing stuff, we're gonna do kind of a a server tour. Whoops! Get the smoke out of my face. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flip around and give you a quick peek of that building over there, and then since I'm up. I'm going to go to game mode 3 so that I can fly. Uh, this is the spawn area right here. This is spawn. Um, so this is where everybody spawns in at. And since we last played, since we were last on here, not only is it just me and Nick, um, our daughter, my daughter Caitlin's been on here and my wife's been on here. So we've been kind of busy. There's been a lot of stuff going on. I spent most of my time kind of right here around the spawn area uh, making things look nice at spawn as you can see uh, what I did here was I built a little walkway there's a bridge over here to the spawn house we'll just zoom right in here uh, so we got the first floor with just kind of a basically living room and then up here we've got second floor with enough bedrooms in here that each have kind of a bed and a chest and an armor stand for everybody and then up here is the master bedroom and then all the way at the bottom, uh, we've got a basement uh, where we're kind of currently growing. Where I'm growing some vines, just to have some vines. And I've got a tunnel here for when we, uh, when 1.9 comes out and we go do the Ender Dragon fight, that uh, we can eventually send Ender Pearls up through here and into that chest up there. Um, so. What I did here was we just built this kind of big house here and made some paths. We've got a little small horse stable here for horses. Um, some rabbits, chickens, and then over here we've got sheep and some chickens. Not sure where they came from. And a few cows and some pigs a pig there should have been more pigs I don't know exactly what happened to them maybe they turned into zombie pigmen and died I don't know the animals keep kind of coming and going so I guess what I have to do is get this pig from over here and go make some more later but uh, this is spawn yeah our daughter set up a yard so here just kind of for fun um, I've also been putting jack-o'-lanterns underneath leaf blocks so that we can kind of do without torches around here and kind of keep it mostly safe. It's not completely safe because things wander in. Um, here's just uh, some basic farms here so that we've got everything kind of right here around spawn for anybody to come use. Uh, over here, this building that you got the preview of, this is the uh, enchanting library so we're set up to run level 30 enchantments um, let's see what else is over here oh, over here is a charcoal shop um, it's not automated yet because again we haven't been to the nether um, I need some quartz to do some uh, redstone stuff but I'm gonna try and make it a little bit more automated later on this is just kind of a quickie and then this is just where I grow trees at to throw the logs in there to make charcoal so that we don't have to worry about coal. Um, and then over this way, where this big tree is, uh, we built, this is kind of where we started out at mining down in here. And this was kind of like where we were living. And then uh, we built a starter home that we lived in and now it didn't originally look like this um, what we did was once everybody kind of once we kind of got stable and we're able to survive on our own I come back over here and I uh, made this look like it had uh, started to fall apart and be in disrepair so we grew some trees and kind of made it look decrepit and falling apart um, further over here Uh, this is our daughter's house 
Um, I helped her build the outside box shaped portion and the roof up here. And in the meantime, she has built this balcony. And I helped her a little bit with the furniture arrangement in here. And then she's done a little bit of the decorating and she's still working on putting stuff in here on the inside as far as bedrooms and stuff like that. Uh, she's got her own little bathroom here that she's made. She's been having a good time. And then let's see from here, let's go back to spawn. Yeah, we've started exploring down there. I think we've about used it all up. Uh, this way is Nick's base. And if you watch his videos, you'll see more on his. I'm just gonna kind of show you where it is. Remember spawn is back there. And whoo, whoops, going the wrong way. but we're gonna keep working on roads and stuff uh, he's already got some bridges built and up here is the start of his base uh, there's a zombie with a shovel there we go. start burning um, this is like the main entrance I think for his base and you go in and he's got some uh, caves and stuff in there that he's been working on and he's got a little small house up here I think is where his bed and stuff's at I'm not sure uh, he's been doing kind of a, his own little thing over here where he's building inside um, I did help build him a piston door in here Let's see if I can get in here without too much clipping uh, since we don't have sticky pistons because we can't find any slime um, I built a simple piston door that has, let's see, pistons here that push the blocks over. And these pistons will retract. These pistons over here push the blocks over, which then opens the door. And then when you close it, uh, these are retracted, and then these push the blocks back to close them. And then down here is kind of the redstone for it. Um, we had to go old school on the T flip flop because again we needed quartz because we haven't been to the nether so this is an old school T flip flop uh, when it switches it grabs the power from the torch down there and then runs it through the line um, let's see if I can get out of here now there we go but I'm not going to show you too much of his base because I don't know a whole lot about it I haven't been over here exploring really um, and then if we go back to spawn he was working on another project over here this little village um, he found a zombie spawner somewhere over here and I'm not sure but he's just building like a little uh, a little village over here and I think the way he's working it out is that you travel down through the well to get to the zombie spawner right there and as you can see he's not quite finished it out and apparently there is an abandoned mine shaft over here huh and it looks like he's pretty much explored it all huh maybe I don't know I have to ask him but anyway, so there's, we're going to do, uh, he's going to eventually build a zombie grinder. I might come over here and take care of that later. Um, and then, let's head back towards spawn. Which I think is over this way. We've got a lot of Mesa biome around here. Which is good. Um, it looks like this is where um, my wife got on and was playing a little bit so that she could kind of get started. But she has since moved. Yeah, I think we're headed back to spawn now. Yeah. So this is what spawn looks like at night once we get over here. Like I said, I've tried to light it up as much as I can. I still am missing a few torches here and there on the ground. Um, 
and I think I'm going to probably put some torches, some something other than torches inside the, the pig pen over there. But uh, this is kind of what it's like at night over here at spawn. It's fairly safe uh, stuff to spawn over here and around the edges. So as you can see, I've tried to make sure I've got all the edges lit up, but uh, it's still not super, super safe. But if you head this way, oh yeah, KK built this. This is a fishing shack, I think. Yeah, it's just got a little bed in it and a dock so she could fish off of it. And I thought about improving it, but I was like, no, nah, she built it, I'm going to leave it. Over here is where Nisha lives at. Um, I'm not sure of all of her plans and whatnot, but this is her house. Um, she's got a bedroom up here, just a little small living area here, and I don't think, nope, don't think she has anything under here. Then she's built a fishing pond. Do know that. I don't know what she's going to do down here. And then those are her farms and stuff. And I don't know exactly what this is here either. Oh, this is some bunny rabbits. Uh, KK brought some bunny rabbits over here for her and apparently she built them a house. Um, for the first while I lived right there in the spawn because I was doing all of the, the building and stuff there. Um, but then I've moved my base and I'm going to have two ways to get there. You can either go by boat, which is why there's a boat sitting out there. Or I think this torch path right here, I kind of like the way it goes. I'm going to build a path with some bridges and stuff like this. And it is eventually going to lead up to here. And then as you can see, there's some glass that's part of my, my base there. And it's going to go across this river and into the wall over here somewhere. I'm just not exactly certain. What I may do is do uh, is kind of be a little cheaty and do game mode 3 and see. Because I've got cage running all through here. Yeah, see. Uh, I'll have to figure out where it comes in at. But uh, anyway... What I've got set up here, I need to put some more torches out or some more lighting of some sort. Uh, this is my tree farm. I just throw random trees up here so it looks nice from a distance. And I come through this tunnel here to get up here. Um, basically, all I'm going to do for my base is just live in the caves. And so I've set up you know the caves I've got farms here and I'm trying to get rid of torches that's why all the jack-o'-lanterns are sitting around I kinda like the way the jack-o'-lanterns look but we've got potatoes, carrots, wheat uh, pumpkins and melons over there and then back up this way is it looks like an automatic chicken cooker but since we don't have comparators yet, I have to sit here and flick this switch off and on, off and on, off and on, off and on to get the eggs to shoot out. But otherwise, it works just like a regular automatic chicken cooker where chickens lay the eggs. It goes into the dispenser over here. And then they get shot out. So once we get comparators, I'll actually be able to go ahead and just set it up to do it automatically um, this is where I was keeping the chickens before and this little door is just uh, maintenance access to get back there to the chickens uh, this is my storage room I don't know if it's gonna be temporary or if it's gonna stay like this or what but right now this is my storage room um, my bedroom that kind of overlooks the mesa that you saw the glass from over there and then over here is my smelting system. Uh, this cart you put your fuel in, it comes around to the back and just spreads it out through the furnaces. And then the furnaces pick it all up and dump it down here. Um, I think I'm going to eventually put a switch or something to turn off the, uh, the hoppers down here so that I can do kind of like an XP mode for when I need just 
a little bit and something to top off a level or whatever I can just lock those and get it out um, over here is where my boat dispenser is and once we get the new 1.9 boats it'll work a little better but you get in the boat and then you fly out and down the big waterfall that I created here to get out um, I'm still working on getting this covered up I was running a little short on supplies up here um, and then you would just go through the ocean around the corner and as you can see there is Tanisha's house over there and spawn kind of right over there in the middle of the screen um, and then when you come back I don't know if the 1.9 boats work this way or not but what I'm hoping is that we can steer in here go down this tunnel and then pop up through here basically I built a old school water elevator I don't know the current boats will work if I can get them in here without them breaking they're so fragile um, and then just pop up and then you'd be in the base you break your boat stick your boat back in the dispenser and you're good to go again um, and then the other thing that I didn't show you, I haven't gotten the cave finished yet to get here. But, uh, right over here is just the way down to the, where I was doing some strip mining at. Um, alright, so that's why I was hearing zombies the other day. Because there's a cave nearby, okay, that I didn't bump into. But, uh, so that's what we've been doing um i hope you enjoy i don't normally do videos like this oh lost where i was at about to go the wrong way um i don't normally do videos like this but i figured since i so much had been done uh, i haven't had a whole lot of time to record and so i figured this would be the easiest way to kind of catch up uh, I don't really have any major projects. I just kind of get on here and piddle around. If Nick or Caitlin or you know somebody needs some help with something, I'll get on and help them out. And sometimes I record it. Sometimes I don't. Uh, when I did Nick's thing, I did not record it. Um, but uh, that's it for now. And if I can spell, get back in survival. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little server tour um, and if I continue to just do stuff and don't record it then what I will do is just every so often we'll just do a fly through server tour so uh, until next time bye bye